Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. In this video, I'll be showing you user centric CookieBot CMP implementation. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering how do you exactly use user centric here for creating cookie a bot? So in this case, CMP implementation. Well, first things first, you want to go to usercentrics.com here. And basically, you want to go and click on the start free button at the top right. Now, from here, we have a bunch of options. Now, you can try this for free. As you can see, you can start a 14-day free trial here for uh, this specific account here. So from here, just go and click on sign up with Google here. So in order for you to create your account. So obviously, I want to use my Google account here for easy access. So let's go and click on continue. And we just need to follow the on-screen steps here. It's going to ask, we value your privacy. You can go ahead and click on accept all or deny if you want to. And from here, you want to go and just well, basically um, uh, tailor your experience. So in this case, you have the option if you are signing up for yourself or your client and which industry here. So in this case, go ahead and answer all the necessary information here. Now in here, it's going to ask for uh, create content for your business. So you could go ahead and just provide all the details. It's going to click on next. And from here, it's going to start or allow us to start customizing our content banner. Which in this case, you have the dialogue here. We have a bar. So go ahead and choose the appropriate option for you. So in this case, for the uh, section here, let's go ahead and choose a layer if you want to, by the way. So you could also choose the styling here. So for example, design or enable overlay here. Also the background color, button color here. Obviously there are going to be a lot of things that you could utilize here like the layout color and the toggle colors as well. Now you also have the privacy ticker here. So either fingerprint, security, or settings. So you could go ahead and just choose whichever option you want. So let's just say we want security. Now you could also change the color, the background, our color background here, the size for it. And uh, yeah. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and click on the save and next. It's going to start customizing our banner here. Let's just wait for it to load up. And in here, it should allow us to start inviting people in to collaborate. But let's go ahead and click on I'll do it later. But obviously, you can go ahead and do your own. Now from here, it's going to say script tag here. So copy the script tag below and paste it to the head section of your website. So make sure you place before any third party scripts that requires user consent. So in this case, you go ahead and just copy the code here. Just click on it. You also have the manual blocking here if you want or auto blocking. So yeah. Now from here, you also have the, Im the implementation guide here. Like for example, for Google Tag Manager and other implement implementation uh, uh, methods here if you want to view those. But once you hit undone or finish here, this is what you'll be seeing. So you should be able to access the configuration here. Like for example, you want to change the setup uh, section here if you want to remove or add a domain or your settings here. You also have your legal specification, CMP settings, and a lot more. So yeah, so this allows you to also change your appearance here just in case you have your content here. If you want to change the title for it, the banner message, as well as the links for it, like legal notice, privacy policy, and a lot more. Now you also have integrations here. Like for example, you could go and add like MindOS and Fraud Zero. Now you also have the implementation here, which allows you to view the code that we saw before. So you could go and just copy the blocking here. So you have manual blocking, auto blocking here. So you could go and choose whichever option for you. And you also have the embeddings option here, which in this case allows you to add or embed. And also you have data layer events and A and B testing here. Now, by the way, for the script tag here, if you're going to add this, just make sure that you add this at the head uh, tag here at the very top before any third party script that requires user content. So in this case, it should be the very first one that you'll be adding here on the head tag. But yeah, so in this case, uh, like what I said before, uh, for you to implement this, you just need to add it on your heading tag here on your web page. But just in case, like for example, you want to apply this or use this on your WordPress website. Well, in this case, this is going to be uh, kind of easy. So it's quite different. So just an example, this is a WordPress website I have right now. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on or hover over plugins and let's go ahead and click on add new plugin. And from here, you just need to type in user send trick, just press enter. It should give you different options. So let's go and choose cookie banner, plugin for WordPress, cookie bot, CMP, and user centrics. Let's go and click on install now. Now, once you've done that, it should now be available. So it might take a while, so let's just wait for it. Now let's go and click on activate. 
And once it's actually active, activated, you should be able to see CookieBot at the left side here. Just go and click on it. Now from here, you just have the option to either create a new account or connect your already existing account. So you can go and click on connect my account. And from here, you could go ahead and basically just enter settings ID or domain group ID. So if you're looking for the settings ID here, so this one is pretty easy to look for. So you want to go ahead and open up user centrics here or your original account on your browser. You want to go to implementations and you want to go to your uh, live version or auto block, auto blocking here or implementation script. So what you need to do is you just need to look for data setting here or setting uh, data settings ID. I just want to copy this section here. And once you've copied that, you just need to paste that ID in here. Now from here, it's going to start loading up. Let's go ahead and click on connect account here. Now, once you've done that, it's going to redirect you to your settings, which allows you to change a few things. Like for example, uh, your uh, cookie blocking here, if you want to set this to automatic or manual, and you also have the TCF integration cookie blocking here and a lot more like additional settings as well, like automatic update, show the banner while locked in. You also have the Google Tag Manager here, which allows you to edit that. So if you want to allow Google Tag Manager as well, you also have Google Send Mo here and Privacy Policy Sync. Now we also have plugins here and you also have support just in case you have some problem with your account. We also have debug info here and your dashboard as well as you can see right now. So yeah. So that's how you use or add user centrics here on your WordPress website. But obviously, if you have like a website itself that you want to uh, basically add uh, the specific uh, user or banner here, you just need to go back here and just add a script here on the heading tag for your website. So in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.